Hey everyone, my name is Richard Corbett. I'm the founder of Wheels to Walking. What I do is I make uh, videos for newly injured wheelchair users to help them improve their quality of life and regain independence. So my story begins in 2010. Um, I was out for a run and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. And here in Atlanta, Georgia, we've got underground parking decks. And I was out for a run and fell into an underground parking deck about 50 feet. Um, when I fell, I actually managed to land on my feet, which is an incredible, like, I don't know how I managed to do that. But I did. Um, it broke a lot of bones um, in a lot of different places. But the big injury was spinal cord injury that resulted in uh, paralysis. And I've been using a wheelchair to get around for over nine years now and I've made it my mission to just like share my experience strength and hope with other wheelchair users so they can learn from my experience and avoid all the mistakes and all the pitfalls that I've fallen into along the way literally and figuratively holy cow man mm -hmm. um so goodness I mean take me through like first of all it's incredible that you survived but take me through Dude, crazy right like so crazy like no internal injuries no brain injuries yeah like like just bones, basically. Insane. And they probably like took you across the street to Shepherd Center. Did you go to Shepherd? They they took me to Grady first, um, okay. which is where the trauma unit is. And I was in Grady for uh, I want to say thirty days or so. Um, mm -hmm. And they kept me in a coma so that they could just keep doing back to back to back to back surgeries. Whoa. And the reason they chose to do that is because I was in such good physical fitness. Um, I was training for a bodybuilding competition at the time, and that's why I was out running and exercising. So. They're like, dude, his body's strong enough to handle the anesthesia. Like, we'll just keep him asleep and we'll just do, like, all the surgeries we can just back to back for as many days as we can. So wow. they, they put Humpty Dumpty back together again and then um, then shipped me off to Shepherd Center. Yeah, you must have broken a lot of leg bones too, right? Um, it was both my uh, tibia, which is, like, the bone that the ankle attaches to. Uh -huh. um, they were identical fractures, which is actually kind of – crazy that they were wow. perfectly matching um the vertebrae that uh caused the spinal cord injury was the l2 vertebrae that, that was uh, damaged the most and a lot of other discs and a lot of other vertebrae up and down the column but i don't remember where because uh they just healed and yeah do you, and remember, dealt with the, it. Do you remember the fall yeah like precisely um that's freaky. I, didn't, I, I didn't realize how bad it was until it happened you know like yeah. i i i've always been a, a kind of person who just like is real physical with my body you know um just like plays like have a good time and and i'm sure if you remember like when you were younger as a kid if you ever had a house that had stairs in it and you would always run and you'd run down the stairs and maybe jump from the third stair but yeah. maybe one day you get a little bit bold and, and go a little bit higher and then yeah. your feet sting and you, go, you go oh man i wasn't yep. expecting that that's all that i thought was going to happen like i didn't think like anything of it like as I was falling I was like okay bounce myself midair like make sure my feet are in position like I'm just gonna hit and roll out of it like it's not gonna be a big deal and then like I wake up and I'm like blacking in and out and I definitely know I'm paralyzed because like I can feel that my feet are like flopped out to the side and I, I can't even sit up like I'm unable to yeah. sit up Holy um wow. what but was I was the, like was that a month later that you woke up or was that Pretty I mean, I was I was in and out of consciousness um, until they induced me into the coma, right? So, uh, but when I woke up out of the coma, uh, I didn't know what happened to me. My sister had to tell me like what happened, and it, she said it like every time would break her heart because I would wake up again and not remember again, and she'd have to oh. tell me, and it was like the first time every time it would just devastate me every time. Wow. Um, so it was, it was a pretty, it was hard on my family and hard on myself and, you know, like my yeah. life was changed forever, you know, like yep. I, I still think that's one of the things that I still, um, I don't think I still deal with, but I dealt with for a very long time was that like my future was taken away from me. Mm -hmm. Like I had, had dreams, I had goals, I had visions, I had plans for myself and plans for my life. And, and then this injury happens and then you're pretty much like, oh, here's your wheelchair, like enjoy your life. And like, that's that's pretty tragically depressing because I didn't realize until obviously many years down the road that I had to create my own new compelling future. Yeah. And, wow. and one wasn't going to be made for me. And unfortunately I, I slipped into addiction really bad. I slipped into depression really bad. Um, you know, even times where I tried to kill myself because I was just like done living 
Yeah. And and then luckily I able to, to dig my way out of all of those holes to where, you know, I like went through rehab and got clean off the drugs and like sought out therapy and like dealt with my depression and Holy you God. know, like lost a bunch of weight because, you know, I like kind of like give it up and abused my right. body and got like fat and gross and disgusting and right. you know, like so I, I finally come out of this hole, you know, that I dug for myself and and I'm out of it going like okay, I have to make that worth it. Like, yeah. all this pain and suffering and, like, terrible shit that I've gone through over the past however many years, like, how can I make this valuable? Yeah. And then I think, okay, well, like, what did I need when I first got hurt, right? Like, I had no one to look up to. I had no one to yeah. follow, at least in a public space. Like, there's a few people on Instagram, like, a few people on Facebook, like, a few, like, peer mentors, yeah. you know, but there was never, like, a public figure, you know? So I thought, like, okay, like, I'm going to get on this Instagram thing. I'm going to get on this YouTube thing. I'm going to make awesome videos that are just going to kind of show people like, hey, look, yeah. your life your life may feel like it's over, but it's not. And like, let me show you all the awesome things you can do and what you're capable of doing, and I'm going to teach you along the way. So, Oh, yeah. That's incredible. I search that stuff out all every single day on YouTube. That's um, what I'm saying. Yeah, when you're laid up in bed, you just Google. Like, yep. yep. Everything you possibly can, your future holds for you. Yeah. Man, that's really cool. I, I'm blown away that you made the turn after being in that dark place. I mean, was that kind of like a all of a sudden thing? You're just like, one day I've got to do this? Or you're like, slowly, okay, maybe something needs to happen. How did that happen? It, it, it got there due to me trying to avoid it for so long. Like, I wanted to avoid my like, history with, like, my addiction, my depression. I wanted to pretend, like, my dark times didn't exist. I wanted to pretend, like, my disability didn't exist. I wanted to, like, yeah. you know, morph my way back into society and not be, you know, like, wheelchair guy and, like, you know, not, a, like, a trope or whatever. Right. I just wanted to kind of blend in. And so I tried everything I possibly could do to, like, be normal again. And they all failed because there was there was no purpose behind it. I wasn't adding value I was I wasn't living in my purpose you know right and and you know I've been an artist my whole life and I was getting just really antsy and bored creatively and I had even tried to go down a direction of art where I was like oh I'm going to use physical medium art like I'm going to make these sculptures to help share my message but that was such a detached way of you know sharing yeah. versus like real real direct and and then one day I just got this like itch in me that I was like, I'm just going to start like filming parts of my day that what to me is normal because I've been doing it for so long, but to someone else is not normal. So things like grocery shopping or like going to a concert or, you know, just like little things that I'm like, let me just vlog this or like, let me make a, a huge inspiration line as Casey Neistat. Like he makes yep. these like cinematic yeah. style storytelling, like lots of like jump cut style videos. And yeah. I was like, let me just like make Casey Neistat vlogs about my day. And um, the response I was getting with minimal knowledge of how to shoot video, with minimal knowledge of how to edit, by just putting videos out on YouTube, people both able bodied and specifically wheelchair users were like, dude, these videos are great. These are amazing. Like, these are awesome. Like, when are you going to make more of them? Yeah, and I took a step, and I took a step back, and I was like, "Okay, I have to do this more than just like a side thing. Like, this yeah. can't just be a hobby. This can't just be a I'm bored. Like, this is something that people are are not just hungry for; they're starving for. Yeah. I'm just trying to prevent folks that when they first get hurt, you know, I want to catch them in the first three months, six months, nine months, a year, and be like." Don't do what I did. Yeah. But let me te but like let me teach you all the things I did do right. And like yeah. these are all like the precautionary tales I have and these are all like the hard things I deal with. And I'm also like super real in my posts where like I talk about shit that people are like, I felt this and thought this for years and I thought I was alone. No one has ever been able to articulate the way you just did. Thank you. I can now show yeah. these to my friends and family so they understand what I'm going through. Man, I love all of it. I love I can't believe you got out of it and like now your whole mission, and you found purpose through going through the depths. So when I was going through most of most of my my challenges and difficulties, specifically like a lot of the like coping with the injury and a lot of um, 
dealing with you know my addiction problems and specifically depression um, I have a sister who, who loves and cares about me the most and and one of the things she used to, always, used to tell me all the time that would really piss me off was she would say happiness is a choice and I used to get mad at that because I'd be like do you think I'm choosing to be this way do you think I'm choosing to be miserable do you think I'm choosing to be sad like I used to get so annoyed at that yeah. but what I learn to realize over time is that she was correct right like life is a series of decisions the things you do and do not matter so if you choose to do things that make you happy if you choose to do things that make you fulfilled if you choose to help people if you choose to have a positive mindset if you choose to surround yourself with positivity if you choose to surround yourself with people if you choose to consume books and podcasts and lectures and all these things that create happiness those are choices so I feel like a big part of my mission is like, it's like, the, this is a new compelling future, but you have to make it, exactly. right? Like it's, like, it's on you. Like, it's your responsibility. Like, there's people that live their entire life wishing that they could reset and start over. This is potentially a very unique opportunity that people beg for their entire life. Now, do they beg to get paralyzed and have to use a wheelchair? No, but they do beg to be able to restart their lives entirely over. Yeah. And and although, you know, I was 20 when it happened, like my life was going in a direction where I liked it, you know, it wasn't yeah. something I chose, but I now want to kind of like share that with people and be like, yeah, this is the worst thing that's ever happened to you. However, you can use this to create a life that's even better than what your life was before. Lion right? heart. Lion. That's incredible, <laughs> man. More into this, like, yeah, because you get it, man. You've lived it. Um, yeah, and, I've lived yeah. the worst. So, like, I, I think I have a, a very unique way of being able to speak into people's lives because I have experience. Yep. yep. You know, so I know one of the things that was very frequently come out of my mouth during all of these times from the beginning, from the physical injury all the way through everything else that I went through was like, you don't understand. Like that was a great way to shut people up. You're like you don't know what it's like. Yeah. You don't, you don't understand. And the truth is they didn't. So in that moment they'd be like, okay, you're right. I don't understand. And then that would shut them out. But I, the people can't say that to me, you know, like if someone else, I meet like in a chair that's like, you don't understand. And I'm like, no, yeah, I do. Like, I, I absolutely do. Obviously, like yeah. look, like yeah. I have, I have not only these videos, but I have like these Instagram posts with great captions, and I have like my untold story that's that's you know seven emails long that is dives into this deep, dark history that you know like I've got podcasts you can listen to my story on. Like yeah. trust me, like I I know what you're going through, like yeah. maybe even more than anyone ever will. Yeah, totally incredible, man. Well, thank you so much. We'll probably post this in the Thank next couple you, of days. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. This is awesome. Like, yeah. Are you in Atlanta? I am. Sweet. Okay, next time I'm there, I would love to see you. Yeah, dude. Make it happen. Shoot me a DM on Instagram. 